there, Melanie from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium here. Thanks for joining us today for On the Water. Here at CMA, we believe in preserving our marine life and environment through leadership in research, education, rescue, rehabilitation, and release. Hi, my name is Mike. I am the supervisor of the sea turtle and aquatic biology programs here at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about sea turtle nesting. Our sea turtle nesting season starts in May and usually runs until the end of October. Uh, generally in Pinellas County, we get uh, loggerhead sea turtles nesting on our beaches. Well, we just had our first nest of the season last Sunday, May 3rd. It was a loggerhead sea turtle nest. It was down on Reddington Beach. We patrol approximately 26 miles of beach every day, just looking for the tracks from the sea turtles when they come in to lay their eggs. Uh, what generally happens is overnight, uh, the female sea turtles will crawl up on the beach. Uh, if they locate a good nesting site, they'll uh, dig what's called a body pit. Uh, with their, using their front flippers and, and their rear flippers to shift, shift sand around. And then what they will do is start to dig a hole with their rear flippers. They'll dig down as, reach, as far as they can reach with their rear flippers, scooping out flippers full of sand and just flipping it off to the side. And once they get that hole as deep as they can get it, and nice and rounded and smooth on the inside, they'll start to deposit their eggs down in there. Uh, generally, there'll be 80 to 120 eggs in a nest. That number can vary greatly. Once all those eggs are deposited in that nest, she will then use her rear flippers to push the sand back over the top of those eggs and pat it down a little bit. And then she'll go through what's called a camouflaging stage where she will use her front flippers to throw sand back up over that area to camouflage that nest. Uh, so after the female turtle camouflages her eggs, she will crawl back into the water, never to return to that nest site. So now those eggs and babies will be on their own. So while we're out in the morning, uh, once we come across these tracks, we try to determine whether it's a, a nest or a false crawl. Uh, false crawl is also known as a non-nesting emergence, and it means exactly that. The turtle emerged from the water, but did not create a nest or lay any eggs. Um, just decided to go back into the water. Maybe the spot didn't seem right to her, or something scared her off. While we're looking for the eggs, we will gently probe the sand with our fingers, and generally where that mother dug that nest and then covered up those eggs, the sand will be a lot softer than the surrounding area. We know that's where the eggs are, and we know that that is a nest there. So that's how we determine the difference between a nest and a false crawl. If it is a nest, we will stake off the area, continue our patrol, and then come back a little later on to collect some data. The data we collect, once we locate the eggs and confirm that it's a nest, we will uh, get measurements on how far it is from the water, from the vegetation. We'll take different measurements from uh, some stakes we put in the ground. Uh, we just want to get a lot of me measurements, so if we do have to come back and locate those eggs again, we can, we can find them. Uh, we also get GPS coordinates, whatever beach it's on, the address, just any general information that will help us find those eggs again. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for part two. To watch more episodes, visit us at www.seawinter.com slash on the water. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for sneak previews of each new episode.